Good morning, Anna Fernandez here of Legal Lotus coming to you from Miami, Florida in my home office. And today we are going to go over how to look for your case online, specifically in Pensacola, Florida. So we've done this video before on how to generally look for your case online. Again, if you have any type of court case, either family, divorce, even if it's a criminal case, this is public record and it will be reflected on the clerk of court's website of whatever county is either bringing the case or bringing the charges against you, whatever it may be, it has to be specifically to that county. Um, I'm gonna have links to everything down below in the comment section, but if there's anything that I'm missing or if there's anything that you'd like to learn, please send us an email or send a comment or write a comment below. Let us know so that we can develop content to help better serve you and our community. This is a video that's actually a result of someone who asked, hey, can you teach us how to do it on, on Pensacola? And absolutely. I will show you how to do that. Uh, before all, you, you should know that you should register for whichever clerk of courts uh, county that you belong to, just because when you are a registered user, you get a lot more uh, information and you may even be able to access the, the actual court record, regardless of whether you're an attorney. So let's get started. The Cola, Florida, the county is Escambia. So to get there, and again, all of these links are going to be in the comment section below, but escambiaclerk.com. That's how you get there. This is the clerk of court's website. So if you're looking for a case specifically in Pensacola, the county that you're going to have to go through is Escambia. Once you're on the website, you're going to click on records. Here, they're going to give you all types of records. It could be court records. It could be ordinances. It can be, but what you're looking for right now is online public records. Official records is a little bit different. Um, that's if you're looking, for example, like a deed or mortgage, all of these things are recorded so that certain people, companies, mortgage uh, lenders, all of that, they have knowledge or it's, you know, because it's public record, then they should have reasonably known if there is, for example, a lien or a mortgage on a, on a property. But if you're looking for something uh, specific in a court that was either filed against you, a court action, a traffic ticket, anything like that, it's going to be online public records. So once we click there, it's going to take us to another page and we want the court records. Florida Courts e-filing portal, That's an, we have that in another video and that's to actually file certain documents within the courts. But what you were looking for specifically is online court records. Before we click there, just know that right under that it's a registration to be able to, to log in. And like I explained, once if you're logged in, you're gonna be able to view some of the core documents that you wouldn't otherwise be able to view. This is what it looks like. I actually, I haven't, I'm not registered in Pensacola, but I have printed this out. I'm waiting for, to sign it in front of a notary. Um, but pretty, you could be anybody, you don't have to be a lawyer. Uh, you might be limited to some of the permissions or some of the documents you can view if you're not a lawyer, but either way, this is what it looks like. I highly recommend it's free to sign up. Um, I highly recommend that you that you register. It doesn't doesn't cost you anything. And you know, if if you ever need to do any type of research or background check or you know, uh, look for some court documents, you can easily do so by going on the clerk of court's website and retrieving them. If you're if you're registered, so going back, we go to the online court records. We click on that, and it's going to be very similar to almost every single. Obviously, they look different, um, but every county in Florida has similar process. The ways that you can look for a case, you can do it by the name, the case number, and the cita or the citation number. Citation is more so for traffic tickets and and traffic tickets, speeding tickets, uh, parking tickets, and that sort of thing. Case number is going to be for almost everything else. And I say almost because I'm not sure, but I think it should be everything else. Um, that is a, that's going to be the most accurate way of finding a case is if you have the case number. If not, then the easiest way is going to be the name. Obviously, my name is Anna Fernandez. I'm going to do just a quick search. Anna Fernandez, just to show you what it looks like. But I'm sure there's a lot of Anna Fernandez's here in Florida, maybe in Pensacola, maybe not. But the 
there will be a lot of returns. I anticipate that. And that's why the case number is a lot easier and a lot, a lot more accurate as opposed to searching by the case name. Of course, if you have, have a name that's not so common, then it doesn't really matter. So let's try Anna Fernandez and let's see what comes out. Um, because I'm not registered, I do have to go through this little verification process to make sure that I am not a robot, which I am not. And then we search. And so there's nothing as of today. There are no cases found under the name Anna Fernandez, which is pretty surprising because, like I said, it's a common name. If you go to Miami Data, you're going to have over 5,000 <laughs> results. But in any event, um, I'm going to explain to you what this looks like or what this means. If there was a case, it would obviously have something else here. It wouldn't say zero. But uh, plaintiff, defendant, judge, attorney. So it's going to pretty much either tell you what role uh, the person that you're looking for is. Let's say, for example, something did come out uh, under Anna Fernandez. Let's say it's a speeding ticket. It would come out as me being the defendant. And then it would also include things such as the date that it was opened, if it's still pending, uh, closed. If it's still pending, then it would say pending or, or it would say NA as in not applicable and it's not been closed. Causes of action, that's going to tell you what what court action is either against you or you're putting forward. So for example, if I filed for divorce in in uh, this county, then the cause of action would most likely be dissolution of marriage. So this is pretty much basic search. When things come out, again, if you're a registered user, you will be able to access or have some sort of limited access to the court documents. You may need to be a party to this action, um, but it doesn't mean that you won't be able to access it. Even if you don't have a registration, you could always go to the clerk of courts, um, either request it online or go in person, depending if it's open, and you can ask them for copies of court actions. Because remember, at the end of the day, this is all public record, so it's accessible to the public. Of course, if you've expunged your record or you've sealed it, then that's that's a different story and you won't necessarily be able to find that on a clerk of court's website, but there's other resources that you can definitely use that would be able to retrieve those type of, of um, cases. And that's, you know, through um, legal researches that we do like LexisNexis and, and other stuff. So if you have any questions whatsoever, or if there's something specific that you're looking for or, or want addressed or answered, please reach out to us, let us know so that we can help better serve our community and create content that helps everyone out. So again, I'm Anna Fernandez. Thank you so much for tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe and have a beautiful, beautiful day. Bye.